Once there was a boy who loved ferns. He loved them more than anything. Once there was a god. This god was angry because a small child didn't know he existed. Even though this god can make rain, taught the berries how to ripen in the sun, he was jealous. Even though this god had legions of art exalting his kindness and beauty, all he wanted was the love of his child. Once there was a boy who lived in a field of ferns. He was immersed in a sea of green. He was so happy. He sang such tunes, such glorious sounds of perfection that the leaves turned and opened to his child, not wanting to break a stem or disturb a root. His boy stood still, motionless. A day would pass, and he would have had only move one step, turning slowly to see the hillside of green. Once this jealous god, who shall remain nameless, tried to burn all the ferns. He promised immortality to a sect of insects to devour a certain species of the plant. This god tried to convince the water to pool the ground where all the ferns grew, hoping to drown the plant that received this boy's undying love. This god tried to change nature. It became clear to the other great powers of light that there was an imbalance. How could one of us not be loved? How can a child make one of us miserable? Who is this boy? What shall we do? Are there more like him? This small boy lived in a city with buildings and structures surrounded by houses and endless roads. He lived behind walls and fences next to the market that covered the earth. He had a tiny window that held an hour of sunshine every day. Upon cue, the sun would climb through the window and dance while the boys sang. Every day they nourished this plant, and during that hour the love broke through the cement. It ran down the street screaming and rose to the heights of the powerful, as all truths eventually do. And they answered this love. One day the boy disappeared and woke up in a field of ferns. Each step he took to return home killed what he loved. Each movement ripped a leaf, bent a stem, tore the roots from the earth, and destroyed all that he treasured. So he stopped and stood still. And the gods were pleased, for they had imprisoned their heretic. And the boy was pleased, for he was surrounded by what he loved.